there, it's Lacey with a Sweet Pea Chef, and today I have something pretty amazeballs to share with you. I took lasagna and made it healthy and so delicious and filling, you're gonna forget about all other lasagnas. So let's get started. First, preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So now we need to slice the sweet potatoes very thin. You can either use a mandolin or a sharp knife. I like using a mandolin. If you've never had one before, they're super awesome because you get really precise thin slices, but a sharp knife will work as well. We're looking for the slices to be between an eighth of an inch and a sixteenth of an inch. And the more uniform, the better, because they're gonna cook evenly. Next, let's prep the cheese filling for the lasagna. So in a medium mixing bowl, we're gonna go ahead and combine two cups cottage cheese with one egg and a third of a cup finely chopped Italian parsley. You're gonna mix this well and then set aside. Now heat one tablespoon olive oil over medium high heat in a large skillet. Once that's hot, add one and a half pounds lean ground pork, one teaspoon dried oregano, one teaspoon dried thyme, a half a teaspoon kosher salt, and a half a teaspoon ground black pepper. We're gonna cook this until it's really well browned, which should take about six to eight minutes, stirring frequently. Once the meat is well browned, remove it from the pan and set it aside. We're gonna reserve about one tablespoon of that rendered fat from the pork. Add one half of a diced yellow onion and cook it over medium high heat until it starts to become tender. Then add in eight to 10 sliced cremini mushrooms and cook for an additional four to six minutes or until the mushrooms start to turn tender. Then add in two cloves of minced garlic and cook for one more minute until the garlic becomes nice and fragrant. Return the cooked pork to the pan and add two and a half cups of tomato sauce as well and we're gonna stir to combine. For the tomato sauce, you can use your own homemade tomato sauce or marinara sauce or you can always buy one from the store. If you buy one from the store, look for ones that are low in sodium and sugar and have very few ingredients. Now it's time to assemble the lasagna. So grab a 9 by 16 casserole dish and create the first layer with those sweet potato slices. Make sure to overlap each slice to create an even layer. Then pour out half of the meat sauce over the sweet potato slices and spread evenly. Next, pour out half of the cottage cheese mixture over the meat sauce and then spread evenly. It's okay if it doesn't look perfect, it will still be super tasty. Then repeat these three steps again with another layer of the sweet potato slices, the meat sauce, and then the cottage cheese. Top with a thin layer of sliced fresh mozzarella cheese and then cover the entire casserole dish with tin foil. We're gonna place into the oven and bake for 30 to 35 minutes or until the sweet potato slices are almost fully tender. So get ready to have a healthy lasagna that's gonna satisfy all of your lasagna cravings and actually be good for your body. To get more tips, tricks, and recipes for eating healthy, click the link to download my free beginner's guide to eating clean. And if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button now so you never miss our new weekly recipe videos. Thanks, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs>